welcome to the Meeple Mentor YouTube channel. Today we're doing an unboxing of the latest game from AEG, Alderac Entertainment Games. This is Shake That City. You might have seen some of their campaign out there of uh, everyone doing some dances and shaking the box and everything. I do have one as well on Instagram if you want to check it out. It was a lot of fun to participate. Uh, this is a game by uh, Mads Flow and Kare Torndal Kjar. Uh, I know I'm butchering that those names, but uh, this is the designer. The artist is Olga Kim. So Shake That City from AEG. We're going to take a look at the back and then we'll get right into opening it. And take a look at what's inside together in this unboxing. So Shake, Choose, Build. Welcome city planners. It's up to you to design the best city block using patterns from the exciting Cube Shaker. You'll place a mix of building tiles to help grow the thriving city. The best design wins the game. Are you ready to shake that city? So this is a 20 to 40 minute game, one to four players, ages 10 and up. Now I have been told that this is a, uh, a early, you know, early prototype type copy of the game where there are some, you know, edits still happening to some of the components, to some of the rules. Um, so keep that in mind as we take a look. And nice little box cover here. This is about the same size box as some of the Garp Hill games, uh, like Architects of the West Kingdom, stuff like that. So we got the rule book here on top, fully illustrated. All right, not too long, pretty straightforward. Got a big part here at the front on how to assemble your cube shaker, which I'm pretty sure is a very unique and new game accessory, game component uh, in gaming. I mean, you've got cube towers, you've got dice towers, but I don't think I've ever seen an actual cube shaker. So this is going to be really, really unique. Um, so we have some oops, some board punch outs, which one of them just popped right on out. So everyone, I believe, is going to have their own like landscape here that looks like this, which, you know, could just be a, a square, but they decided to have it cut out in nice, you know, little uh, waves on the outside and kind of wavy boards. So I just go ahead and punch these out, I guess. So yeah, there's the uh, the four boards. So there's four of the same side, and then there's some unique sides or the more complicated sides there on the back. Uh, then in some more punch boards below, we have some tiles with different point values or construction stuff going on here. Uh, we've got the red little uh, apartment building. We've got a like a two x uh, uh, times times two three point gold building scoring thing I guess. And then we have one of each of these tokens, and then there's the curved one obviously. Um, over here we've got some more of those red apartment buildings, and now we've got what looks to be like green parks. And so there's a little token uh, here for the parks, and uh, I think they're all kind of the same on both sides for those uh, small, you know, uh, punch outs. So here you've got some of the industrial uh, type of areas and then the parks. And then we've got some more of these rounded tokens and this one with the times four of industrial tiles. And again, the three golden point buildings, I'm going to call them. Obviously, I haven't played this yet. This just uh, this just came out. Uh, in fact, it's having a Kickstarter uh, going on. So this is uh, this is like early, early. Uh, here we've got like commercial and like businesses as well as much more industrial tiles. Here we've got these four uh, little punches for, it says, I guess four that are not the same. So if you have four of these kinds of tiles that are different, like the parks, the industrial, the city, the uh, apartments, residential. Uh, then we got this black part, which I don't know, looks kind of like a, just a certain kind of business, like a, just maybe office complex or something. Uh, or even, I don't know, there's a smokestack back there too, so it could be like a factory. Um, we got these these uh, punch-out tiles as well for four of the re the commercial buildings, you know, the shops and stuff. Um, looks like there's a picture of uh, like clothing and shoes on the front of those. And then we have much more of the other ones that we just saw. So a whole bunch of these cardboard tokens to be punched and sorted. Lots to do, lots to do. And there they go. All right, those punched right out. So it looks like we've got some kind of point tracker. Uh, it's pretty thin, you know. Then we've got two of these, which I guess these are different um, on the sides. And I don't know. 
if they're used for different player counts or what have you. But there are two of them, and they're all kind of like kind of a half the size of these boards, a little smaller than half. We have some of the punch board itself and some of the construction tokens on this board, which, uh, you know, we're going to have to punch all this out to make the cube shaker. You know, it's going to easily fold together just like that. And uh, let's see, looks like the last bit's already punched out as we saw. So let's look. We've got these that are going to be folded and, and pushed in and, you know, made to be a cube shaker. So there's like push, there's numbers two and three and shake that city right on top. So there's a little bit here to, uh, to take care of, of assembly, which like I said in that rule book, it gave us a full sort of instruction on that. Inside further in the box, we've got a few rubber bands. We have a bunch of plastic baggies because I mean with all those punched out little tokens that's gonna that's gonna all need to be sorted for sure so lots of included baggies and here's another one over here we've got the cubes right I mean that's what this is about shaking them cubes got the silica gel toss that we have varying colors of cubes, which I imagine are what's going to be needed to make the varying color tiles in your uh, city. All right. So you shake it and then you can build from what comes out. All right. That's as simple as I can explain it without having read the rules. Um, but yeah, here you go. I'm just sort of separating out the colors. You can see there's not an even distribution. So you're more likely to have the, uh, the blue than the gray, um, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, those are the cubes. They're pretty big. They're actually, um, you know, they're just kind of normal wooden painted cubes. And then we have a score pad. So bam, there you go. Uh, there's a section here for your player number or player name and then all the different types of buildings. And then we have a little uh, round tracker, which I guess is what this little board is. So instead of points, this is actually going to be a round tracker. So 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, something like that. Some more silica gel. All right. And yep, just a little insert there at the bottom. And there you have it. That is everything inside Shake That City from AEG. And um, I'm really looking forward to trying this. I'm going to have to build this, uh, this little cube box here. This looks really cool. And I can't wait to shake it up. And... Uh, and see how it plays. Uh, we'll be back on the channel with, you know, our review of it shortly. So once we get a chance to play it a couple times, then we'll give you our opinion of the game. So stick around and uh, to make sure you don't miss any of our content, subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave me a like, comment. I'll try to get over and uh, respond to you guys as best I can. But uh, until the next video, I've been Jared. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.